Hello, my name is Jeremy Gustafson and we're here on our farm today. I'm uh, going to talk about uh, the setup that we have on our 1770 John Deere planter on planting into a cover crop, a standing cover crop. Uh, what we do on our farm here is uh, we do a lot of soybeans into a standing cover crop no-till. Uh, we have a few added things to the planter today. Not all of them are necessarily needed to plant into a standing cover crop, but they aid very well in helping you uh, get a good stand establishment. I'm going to start today on the front of the planter. Uh, this planter here is your basic John Deere row unit. We have added uh, airbags to this planter, which is not necessarily needed to plant into a cover crop, but is a good way to be able to adjust your down pressure very easily from the cab to make sure that your planter unit is getting into the ground. Um, it's important once a little drier out to have good down pressure on your row unit to make sure it stays in the ground. Uh, what we have on this unit here is a floating Yetter row cleaner with a precision uh, air cylinder on it. Not necessarily needed to plant into a cover crop. Uh, we use this in our no-till situations uh, to make a nice clean uh, path for the planter to run. Uh, usually when I run it in no-till in no and doing it into a cover crop situation, I will take this row unit and actually lift it up so it's doing absolutely nothing. And the first thing that'll be cutting through is my disc blades on my planter. Um, going back, these are standard disc blades and gauge wheels that come on the unit. Um, back here on the closing wheel assembly, um, we have one rubber tire and one 15 inch uh, spiked closing wheel. This is something that I would recommend um, to put to your planter if you're going to do a lot of no tilling and putting your cover crops in. Um, this crumbles the soil a little bit when it's coming out. When it goes in and pops out, it'll crumble a little bit and you're still getting good seed to soil contact here. And then at the very back end, uh, we run a drag chain, which when you're in the field, this will just lay on top of the ground and hold about a handful of soil. And it just covers that slot real nicely. And we've had really good luck with this. Um, I don't recommend coulters on a unit if you're gonna go into a cover crop situation. Sometimes they tend to pull more mud up. We've had really good luck with this setup here and I think you will too.